Members Bill, Wildlife Amendment Bill 2015, first stage. I call on Deputy Claire Daly to move for leave to introduce the bills. Please, please, please. Deputy Daly is to move a bill here. Thank you. Deputy Daly, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks, Cam Corla. I seek uh, leave to introduce the Wildlife Amendment Bill uh, 2015. I'm aware that my colleague, Deputy Maureen O'Sullivan, will be similarly introducing some uh, legislation over the next period. And what this bill proposes to do is really two things. On the one hand, address the unfinished business in relation to the ban on stag hunting in 2010, and on the other, to deal with the barbaric practice of hair coursing. Now, with regard to the first aspect, since the passage of the ban on stag hunting in 2010, there has been a consistent and repeated attempts by the Ward Union to surreptitiously get around the ban on stag hunting by exploiting a loophole that existed in uh, the Act. Now, the Act allowed for uh, one dog to hunt a deer in order to facilitate a situation where maybe a farmer had to remove a wild deer from uh, their field. Unfortunately, this has been absolutely abused by the Ward Union, with confirmation from the Department of Agriculture that they have received numerous complaints from the general public with regard to breaches of the 2010 legislation by the Ward Union hunt. But they go on to say that it can happen while on a drag hunt, the hounds come across a deer living in the wild and chase it for a short time until called off by the huntsman. The Ward Union is aware of this and the dog should be withdrawn immediately. Of course, the problem is that they aren't. And there seems to be an incredible amount of wild deer roaming around the area in which the Ward Union carry out their hunts on a regular basis. We had the shocking situation last Friday of a frightened stag stampeding through the main street of Ashburn, uh, a danger to himself and uh, pedestrians in uh, that area. You'll be aware, Minister, that the uh, ban in 2010, road safety, was one of the key aspects for why this was passed. And yet in December, similarly, we had a stag on the loose being chased by the hunt in uh, Summerhill in County Mead, with reports being filed by NEPS officers and Department of Agriculture vets of stags out on the road with the hunt uh, nearby. Now, this bill seeks to close uh, that loophole, but it also deals with the issue of prohibiting the practice of uh, hair coursing. Now, this is an activity uh, for which there is growing uh, opposition on a global scale and not least in Ireland. I think it's a matter of fact that numerous deputies in this House would uh, oppose it if there was a free vote uh, on the matter and I think it's timely that we're moving uh, this bill today given the cancellation of the third day of the National Hair Coursing Championships in Clonmel which unfortunately are being reconvened next Sunday but I would appeal uh, to the Minister and the Minister for Agriculture to intervene in a situation where the hares involved in that are being kept for another week in Powerstown Park in stressful and unnatural captivity, only to be released at the end of this yet another week to be live bait, taken in boxes back to Clonmel, uh, even more stressed and terrified uh, for the continuation of uh, the hare coursing um, convention. I think uh, the Minister would do well to go on the website of the Irish Council against blood sports and examine some of the photographs taken by citizens at that activity uh, last weekend where they gave irrefutable evidence of massive cruelty despite the muzzling of the greyhounds with hares being pinned down, struck at high speed, tossed up into the air by hyped up dogs and so on. But I would add it's not even a pleasant activity for the dogs either because the guidance notes of the ICC say that the dogs should be killed rather than rehoused when their time is up uh, and also allows for injured dogs to be um, raced at the behest of the stewards. So all in all, this is an incredibly unwelcome practice. The activity has been banned in Britain, in Northern Ireland, in most of continental Europe, in Australia. 
uh, there's no need for this in, in uh, uh, cruel uh, treatment. The, the European Coursing Championships were held uh, recently with thousands of people in attendance, no hares being chased, no animals being used in it, uh, and that activity went on on a, a drag or mechanical basis. So I think it's very important for our animal rights and animal welfare, and indeed for the protection of wildlife, that this uh, bill would be moved, and I so move, Ken Corla.